Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, I thank you so much for joining us, and I want my audience to know that Senator Tom Cotton is a United States Senator from Arkansas. He served in Iraq, and he's here to talk about his new book. Senator Cotton, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to talk about Sacred Duties, a soldier's tour in Arlington National Cemetery. Give us some details. Give us some details about the book. Well, thanks, Valder, and thanks for your interest in Sacred Duty. Sacred Duty is the story of the Old Guard of Arlington, the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the oldest regiment in the United States Army going back to 1784. For 160 years, it fought in all of our country's major conflicts, like the Mexican-American War and the Civil War, and some of our most iconic battles, like the first Battle of Bull Run down to the Battle of Gettysburg, but for the last 71 years, the Old Guard has been stationed at our most sacred ground, Arlington National Cemetery, where it performs military honor funerals and guards the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and performs in world-famous ceremonies like presidential inaugurations. And I served in the Old Guard in 2007 and 2008 between my tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I used that experience as well as my time back at the cemetery in Fort Myer last year researching sacred duty to tell a grateful nation what these young men and women do on their behalf inside of Arlington. As we have uh, a, a generation who really don't know all of this, uh, is that why you wrote the book? What do you want us to know about this? Well, one thing that I've seen uh, when Arkansans visit me in Washington, they tell me that Arlington is their favorite stop in our capital region. And as I travel the country, so many people ask me about my time at the Old Guard. Uh, not my time in Iraq and Afghanistan, somewhat surprisingly, but there's never really been a good book that tells the story of the Old Guard and what those young soldiers do on our behalf. So I wanted to share their story uh, to the American people on whose behalf they act uh, because I think it's a great story to know and it's truly inspiring and it reminds us of all the things that we hold dear and in common even while we have a lot of disagreements about politics or viewpoints or what have you. Your book talks about honor and sacrifice. Those words are passe is what I read on, on Facebook. Why do we believe that we need to know more about honor and, and commitment and sacrifice at they this day and time? They certainly aren't passe in Arlington or even among our military serving around the world. These are the very finest young men and women our nation have and they defend our freedom, they keep us safe, and sadly, some of them lay down the ultimate sacrifice. You can see that when you go to Arlington. Uh, no matter one's viewpoints, no matter one's political parties in Arlington, the air of reverence, respect, and even love is, is palpable. And that's what I write about in Sacred Duty, uh, is how a unit like the Old Guard, how a place like, the Ar Ar how a place like Arlington National Cemetery helps remind us of what we all have in common and what we all hold dear as a nation. Things like honor and duty, sacrifice and service. I want to thank you for talking about it. I want to thank you for bringing those words into our view because I think they need to be heard more. It's not a part of our daily language, and it needs to be a part of our daily language. You were in the military. You told us that. What type of person did the military help you become? Well, I'm much better for having served in the Army, uh, as any young man or young woman will be much better for having served in our, in our military. It teaches you tangible skills, to be sure. Many people leave the Army as pilots and go work as pilots or truck drivers or fuel handlers or computer specialists. But more than that, it teaches you intangible lessons, things like discipline and mission focus, teamwork, attention to detail. You know, making decisions with high stakes and ambiguous information. That's one reason why so many employers prefer to hire veterans, even if those veterans have no experience in their particular line of business, because they know the quality and the character of, of young man and young woman who comes out of our military. You're a senator from Arkansas. Do you, we are at a point in our um, uh, government where it's really, really challenging. What do you bring to the role of being a senator from Arkansas, if you would briefly share that with me? You know, the Senate's an unusual place. Uh, there's only 100 senators, two from each state. It's the one place where a relatively small state like Arkansas can have an equal voice with very large states like California and New York. So I try to bring the voice of Arkansas to the United States Senate to make sure 
that the voice from the heartland, from working men and women all across our state is well represented in Washington, D.C. In some ways, the United States Senate is the one place where their voices can be heard. It's a great honor to be able to do that, and I'm thankful for the people of Arkansas for trusting me to be their voice in the United States Senate. Well, we're thankful for you serving because this is another form of service, and I think I see the military in that. You want to continue to serve your country, so we thank you and we honor you for that. The book is called Sacred Duty, A Soldier's Tour of Arlington National Cemetery. You can get it wherever books are sold. Senator Cotton, is a place online you want to send my audience? Well, Valder, as you said, you can get it anywhere books are sold. You can go to Amazon, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, your local bookstore, clubs like Sam's and Costco. Uh, I think all of your uh, audience will enjoy Sacred Duty if they want to pick up a copy. I think we will. Thank you so much, Senator Tom Cotton. I really appreciate you talking about the book and writing the book. Be blessed. Thanks, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.